go hiking. And these are beautiful, and it's beautiful. When we were coming into the stadium this morning, yes. the trees are just turning colour. Absolutely lovely. Well, uh, back to the badminton and this Group C decider. And Indonesia are off to the perfect start with the world number ones, Gideon and Sukumolio, beating Colin and Sogo. Next up is women's singles and the teenager Putri Kasuma Hwadani up against Mia Blickfeld. And Hwadani is 19 years of age, but she's already won a World Tour tournament. That was the Spain Masters earlier this year, up against the European Games gold medalist Mia Blickfeld. So, court officials already on. And what a responsibility for Wadani of Indonesia. Not the top ranked Indonesian player here in Vonta. That's Gregoria Mariska Tunju. But she wasn't selected for this one. She had been selected against the Russian Federation team. And now, Indonesia have selected three different women's singles players for their three, three matches. Group matches. Yep. For Denmark, a vastly experienced Mia Blickfeldt, so she's only 24 years of age, but the gold medal at the European Games in Minsk in Belarus two years ago beat Kirsty Gilmore in the final in Minsk. Last 16 of the Olympic Games when she was the number 13 seed lost out to the eventual bronze medalist Pusala Venkata Sindhu in two games. So Freak Cox is our umpire for this one. First meeting as you can see. Let's see what Freak says about the coin toss. Nope. So Blickfeld has won the toss nice. and chose, she chose ends. ends. So, despite there being very little drift, I think there always is a slight difference in ends. And certainly back in our day, Morton, which was the time of black and white televisions and no computers, <laughs> no mobile phones. Black and white televisions. It was, we had a different scoring system and you yes. had to be serving to score a point. And yes. Therefore, there was a point in serving yeah. you know, or choosing to serve yes. first. But nowadays, when you can score a point, regardless of who's serving, I never understand why players don't choose ends first. Anyway, here is the 19-year-old from Tangran the western suburbs of Jakarta. At 170, that's just under five foot seven, I can tell you, her height. And she is currently the seventh ranked Indonesian on the world ranking. Has been six places higher on the world ranking than she is at the moment. And that was at the end of May earlier this week, just one week. But winning the Spain Masters, beating Lina Christofferson in the final. And as I was telling you, uh, that has confirmed that she wasn't selected either against the Russian Federation team when Tunjum was selected. And in the Canadian mac match, this 16-year-old Esther Wadoyo was selected and she lost to Rachel Chan. And that put Indonesia 1-2 yeah. down in the overall tie. Yeah, very much in a pickle. It was a bit of a pickle, wasn't yeah. it? So to me, a Blickfeld is 24 years of age, tall athlete, 172, I haven't seen 174 down, but about 5 foot 8. And she has been as high as 11, a total of four weeks across two different spells. And as you can see, she's one place down from that highest world ranking. She's making her third Sudaman Cup campaign. She played just one group match on the Gold Coast four years ago and selected for all three matches in the Danish campaign in Nanning two years ago. Beat Kosetskaya against the Russian Federation team in three games, 21-18 in the deciding game. 55 minutes that lasted. So three cocks, as I was telling you about, are on par for this one and Cody Leach from 
the United States of America is. Now, that is the height measurements for our service judge, Cody Leach, those perspex little devices. He has to look through that. He has to match up the two black lines between the two uh, pieces of perspex, and that should be 1.15 metres. And that's how he judges whether the serve is above or below that mark. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Indonesia, represented by Putri Pusuma Kwantani. On my left, Denmark, represented by Mia Christen. So the second match of the Group C decider, tie between Denmark and Indonesia. Mia Blickfeldt, interestingly serving, which as she got uh, the choice of ends because she won the toss, it means that well, Don, Dani must have chosen to, to receive. receive. Yes. Oh, that's bewildering too. That's a lovely shot from Blickfeld. Now, Morton, can you give us an update on her injury problems earlier this year? She had jumper's knee and therefore yeah. withdrew from the European Championships, but of course went to the Olympic Games after that. And as I was telling you, reached the last 16 where she lost to Pusana Venkata. Sindhu went on to take the bronze medal. But that knee problem all cleared up? I think it's all cleared up. Um, but she is... Um I would say a, a, a bit injury prone these days. I know she's only 24 years of age, but uh, nevertheless, I think she's been quite a lot injured over the the past two or three years. Yeah. But um, the uh, the news from the camp is that uh, she's all right, she's fit, she's ready. So let's see what she can do. That's a good... Oh, that's a nice lift. Perfect lift. Oh, great handle too. Now, when we were going back to the hotel yesterday, Morton, we were discussing perhaps who was going to be in the lineup for this crucial group decider. And we both thought that it was probably, possibly, a strong possibility that Lena Christofferson was going to play. But considering she lost... lost. She was the one that lost the final. To Hardini. In so, Spain, yes. So... Now I understand this selection. Yeah, I, I, I looked it up as well. And um, I, I thought, ah, okay, now I know. Yeah. So uh, it makes a lot of sense. And this is a brilliant start by Blickfeld, isn't it? Five love advantage. deflected by the net cord there that winning smash from Blickfeld well, I really think she made the effort she deserved it it was a very very positive rally from Blickfeld and uh, I know it's not always going according to what you deserve and what's fair but I, I really think she, she made her point in that yeah oh, that's a lovely shot so my fun fact about this match, Morton, is Ooh, that these I'm two... I'm in trouble. No, no, no. These two players have only won one World Tour title each, and it was both, both in, in Spain. Spain, <laughs> Spain Masters yeah. in 2019, as far as Blitfeld was concerned, and then 2021 for her opponent. 
good defence. Yeah, good defensive work from uh, Wadani. Yeah, look how short that lift was. That's a simple put away, isn't it? Quality of the previous shot setting it up. very much understand the selection thought process uh, Morton with Indonesia to give all three women singles players here in Vonta uh, an outing in this event but you then have the problem that a player isn't settled on court because this is the first time they've played yes whereas of course Blickfeld is looking very comfortable on this court she's played in the surroundings she she's come through a tough match against Kusitskaya yeah it definitely helps uh, Blickfeld that she's been on court uh, earlier in the tournament. But it is the first time I'm, I'm watching uh, Wadani and uh, I think she's got, you know, a good good height. Yeah. Uh, so it means she's got a good reach. Um, however, I, I would like to see that she is a, a little bit quicker on her feet. Uh, and, and pushing her opponent a bit more. I know she's only 19 years of age and there's plenty of time to learn the ropes, but nevertheless, um, I would like to see her put more pressure on her opponent in terms of speed in her legs, but also in her shots. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, lovely. That's exactly better. like that. Yeah, that's much, much better. Yeah. Good disguise, and that clipped down very sharply indeed. a loose one and she is getting punished for that the shot from the deep forehand corner was simply too loose and then straight away into trouble that's gone long and to the mid-game interval Mia Blickfeld with a seven-point advantage. A great start by the Dane. It's an impossibility to hear what Kennedy yes. is saying. <laughs> well, <laughs> I heard the first two words and then that was it, the drum started. Well, but I think Bardini wanted the shuttle change, me and Blitfeld said no. Yeah, but did you see there was a little bit of a controversy between, there was. between the umpire and then Kennedy Onison? Yes, the umpire said something about not speaking and Kennedy said... I didn't say anything. Yeah, yeah. nonsense, he said. Yeah. <laughs> but very professionally, straight away, he turned his attention towards his player yeah. and, and not uh, using this precious time to argue with the umpire. Yeah. That was out. It's a good shot. But there is no doubt when uh, Wadani is, is attacking, she's uh, playing a better game against uh, Blickfeld. Yeah.
Oh, that was getting wide. Yeah, that was getting wide as well. Oh, nice shot. Very nice shot from Dani. Quarter finalist at both the World Junior Championships of 2019 and also the Asian Junior Championships. No, no medal, but definitely very, very talented. Oh, look at that. Look, look at that. That's a lucky, lucky shot. Yes. Well, we all need a bit of luck at times, Morton. Yes. But from a coaching point of view, I think she is hanging a little bit in the deep corners, Wadani. And that means that she's getting a fraction late at the front of the court, at the net. She's hanging a little bit and she needs to be able to push off a little bit better from the deep corners. That's him. Yeah, it's a lovely lift from Blickfeld. No, oh, it's just wrong. If you look at it from uh, Wadani's point of view, she needs to close the gap a bit to add some uh, mental pressure, psychology in terms of, of this match on Blickfield because when the mental pressure is high, Blickfield also tend to make more mistakes. So she's got to close the gap yeah. if you look at it from her point of view in order to add on that extra in the match. That's very nice. Getting behind it well in her deep forehand corner. There's the scissor yeah. kick that you were talking about when we were watching the match yesterday. Yes, and she did it to perfection. Mm. Really got well behind it. And look at how much it's sort of forcing her into court and f uh, towards the net. Just going wide. Well, this is a comfortable little romp at the moment for Blickfeld. That's a nice clear like that. Yeah. Yeah, set up her rally. Yeah, the punch clear, attacking clear, mm -hmm. cross court was really doing the trick. And in my book, a very underestimated shot. The punch clear at the World Championship Finals of 2019. <laughs> in the final in of the, the final. women's signals. PV Sinner. Yes. That shot, I think, won her the match. It, it certainly did. Yeah. Couldn't agree with you more. Yeah, good pressure from the Dane. Short. Oh! Got the net cord. Yeah. A little bit 
too little too late let's see what uh, she's got in store for the second game Wadani Great return of serve. Uh, well constructed rally. That is superb from Blickfeld. game point opportunities for Denmark and Mia Blickfeld. Oh, I like that kill. Yeah. That reverse slice keeping the shuttle straight. Yes. And a wonderful way to close out the opening game. 21-11 in favour of Mia Blickfeld and Denmark. 15 minutes into the match and one game to the good is Denmark. the attack straight down the line and the follow-up and I so agree with you that was super yeah the last the finishing shot rather than going cross court straight yeah. down the watch, line with watch a the rush. Rush. head yeah. yeah as perfection super I can tell you that uh, Kenny Jonasson was saying um, a little bit of good information for us yeah he feels that Blickfeld is now standing on the fast end. So different to court two. We worked it out differently on court two. two. Yeah. We're here on court one. But he's saying it's minute. Mm -hmm. But there is perhaps a small little drift and uh, Blickfeld is playing the fast end of the court now. That is fascinating. to the good in this women's singles. Mia Blickfeld looking awfully sharp in that opening game against the teenager Wadani. Somehow the Indonesian needs to take away the initiative. I feel that every rally it's this lady who is really taking the initiative first and, and therefore Wadani is having to be reactive Yes, and that's that's what I was trying to point out yeah. earlier in, in, in the match where I say I, I like to see her move faster and play with some disguises and, and really some faster shots and that was a perfect example. Yeah. That was a really nice disguise. It was a Tai Su Ying kind yeah. of shot into yeah. that deep forehand corner. Well played. Great execution. No, they, they are struggling a bit to, to, yeah. to find the next uh, consistent top five talent in the women's singles. Ah, 
once again. Once again, that cross flick with a small disguise. And, and I think, I tried to explain it earlier, but I think this is a sign of scoreboard pressure on uh, Mia Blickfeld. It's 4 on now, she's 5-4 down. Uh, it's a good start from uh, Wadani. And uh, that, that smash, oh, and this one is out. That was an incredible retrieval from Wadani. that centimetres off the floor played the perfect net shot yeah I, I'm with you Morton I'm sensing a, a turning of the tide um, yeah I'm not saying that Blifford can't win the second game but it's no. going to be a much more tight affair yeah yeah nice hold and flick from the Dane It's a super angle. These are the kind of mistakes that Blickford would normally not do if she's 16-9 up. Yeah. So that's that's what I call the scoreboard pressure here. If you saw any of Blickfeld's match against Kusatskaya, did you? No, I uh, didn't. I watched it on television, and I have to say, Mia Blickfeld won the opening game convincing 21 16 and uh, lost the second 21 9. And I was thinking to myself, what earth has happened to Blickfeld? Mm. I mean, how is she just seemed to completely go off the boil? I hope for Danish fans' sake it isn't a, a repeat of that. Mm, that will help settle the nerves if there are nerves from Lukvelt. Simple point, that's a gift for her. Translate for you that uh, Blickfeld is saying, come on to herself in Danish. Fired up, closing the, the gap, just one point in it now. And while the players are on a little break, we should also, of course, mention Indonesian playing, player taking an Olympic bronze medal in the women's singles in Beijing in 2008. Maria Kristin Yulianti. We've forgotten that, haven't We've we? We've forgotten that, yes. Many apologies. Yes, many. But again, she wasn't a player that coming into those Beijing Olympics I had thought of as medal potential. She did brilliantly well. Yes, but that's, that's what we discussed consistently. Yeah. Consistently been a challenger. Tournament after tournament. Yeah. 
It's gone wide and back level. Who's going to have the advantage at the mid-game interval? Oh yes, well taken. The return of serve was excellent from Wadi Dani. And she has the one point advantage at the mid-game interval. hard with Wadani. I suspect trying to give her confidence as much as anything. But she has the advantage. And see your point, Morton, about when she's taking initiative. She's looking so much better, isn't she? Yes. It's just wide. done it I think the Indonesian youngster struggles to get out of the deep corners as well Morton it's not just that she hangs too far back and is slow to get forward to the net no I don't think she's actually able to get out of trouble at the back of the court no she, she's um, she's really hanging in the corners so um, there's some work to be done back in training that's wide. First challenge of the match. Well, I think it was Johnny Close. Well, this yeah. could be a vital, vital decision. What does the instant review say? Out. Well done, line judge. I suspect they're both feeling a fair amount of tension at the moment. Yeah, it's such a different feeling to play for a team than to play individual events. Oh, oh that was going wide! Again, yes. Wide of the centre line, but Blickfield took it. And in all honesty, if Denmark are to win this group decider. I think Denmark has to win this women's single. They have to win this one. Indonesia is the top favourite to win the, the three doubles. So if Denmark can't take the two singles, then it's, it's too much. Off an ask.
Well, I haven't seen Mads Colling completely miss the shuttle in the first of our <laughs> yeah. matches. I wonder if there's yeah. a bit of a, a swirl there rather than a, a lengthways drift. Yeah, Very know. odd. That's why this one. Yeah, that's and a she's gift. lost confidence. Yeah. Four straight points to Indonesia. And if Wagani can hold her nerve, we could well be treated to a third and deciding game. I think Glickford really have to go on the attack. That's when she's playing best. Not trying to play too sophisticated, just simply going for the attack as much as possible. So rather than trying to build the rallies too much, then go for the attack. And if you look at it from Blickfield's point of view in this one, she's pushing out of the sideline, but I think it's the right thing. You would have gone for the winner there, yeah. rather than build the rally. Yeah, um, under the circumstances, yes. Had it been myself playing, I would have built the ra rally. Yeah. But under the circumstances of Blickfield right now, I think her choice is to, to go for the attack. That's when she's been scoring points and, and better than her opponent. Three points away from a third and deciding game. Two points away. That's well long of the mat line. halfway down the net string's <laughs> gone in the racket yeah that's the reason why so Tim Mark and the team will be busy again I can tell you that this morning they were up to 750 rackets restrung <laughs> okay that's perfect isn't it <laughs> they will definitely break a thousand don't you think absolutely no question It's plumb on the back line and a wonderful way to bring up game point opportunities for Wadani. Oh, that's loose. Yeah. Uh, got what it deserved. to serve quicker and in fact the delay favouring the Indonesian because Blickfeld making the service error it is one game all well, it's a disappointing way for the opening game to finish service error you never like to see that on a game or a match point so 35 minutes into the match it's one game apiece
So, umpire Fred Cox from the Netherlands calls final game. Everything to play for. The whole service ball called moving her foot. Oh dear, dear. service fault called for an illegal serve on the very first point of this deciding game could have a huge influence it would be a huge pity if it does oh she's challenging it was close I know that Wide. Good challenge from Lickfeld. Yeah, not only a good challenge, a good start. Yeah, I can't help but think back to that service fault called on on Wadani's first serve, though, more moving her feet. And I said at the time it could have a huge influence, and it appears that it is having a huge influence. Very rarely do you see a fault called on serve for moving feet nowadays. No, that's, that's very, very unusual. Lickfield, as usual, trying to psych herself up. I've seen it so often before. Talking to herself, encouraging herself. Oh, that was, that was going wide. Yeah, that was out. It's interesting you say that, Morton, because I can't remember what tournament it was at, but. After the match, Bigfield gave an interview that was really rather concerning because apparently she had voices in her se head telling herself that she wasn't any good or yeah. she couldn't win it. And yeah, that was at the Olympics. Was it at the Olympics? Yes. I knew it was recently. Good defence. Yeah. the second cross-court slice within the rally. Cross-court slice, then played her opponent to the back, then the cross-court slice again. right into the corner. Yeah, she did well to take it. That's a brilliant punch clear from here, Blickford. Well, it's all one-way traffic at the moment and it's all in favour of the Dane. Oh, 
Oh, oh that's a sweat well well long with the back line. Oh. That's a, a bad miss from Wild Army. Yeah, that was a good opportunity. Yeah, the indecision from Blickfield. That's a beauty. 11-3, the advantage at the change of ends here in the deciding game for Denmark and Mia Blickfeld. And I can only say how unfortunate it was that Wadani was faulted on the very first point of this deciding game. Fault serve call for moving her feet. Catch any of that, Morton? I did. I yeah. actually did. Uh, one thing um, uh, Kenny was saying, and I, I utterly agree with him, is that he said to me, Blickford, try to move her faster. You know, the faster you can play against her, the more opportunities you're having. So really trying to see if you can add on pressure in terms of pace. Nice drop. Okay, so here's the interesting one. If you'd been the Indonesian coach, yes. what would you have said to Wadani? Um, I would try to put the pressure on the back of the court. If it's correct that uh, she's playing a little bit against the drift, according to what Kenneth said, I think if I was the Indonesian coach, I would say try to add the pressure on Blickford at the back of the court, towards mm. the back line, not getting Blickford to be able to follow through and follow in because Blickfeld has been by far the best of the two when it comes to the front of the court. And then I will probably say that uh, go for attack in straight lines and not go too many cross unless you're in perfect balance and can follow up on the next one. So rather than uh, going cross court in her attacks, I would um, go straight. But that was, that was, the return of serve was doing exactly as you yeah. suggested. It was pressure because it was a flat return of serve, yes. deep to the Danes backhand, backhand side. side yeah. Forcing the, the backhand shot and Blickford was missing it. Mm, that's trouble. That's well played from Hodani. Yeah, and it's interesting to see, even though that Blickford is 12-7 uh, up, panic is starting to set in. Mm. She's talking really a lot to, to Kenneth now. Uh, like, what am I going to do? I, I can see it on her face. And, uh, you know, she was... Was it 11-3 up? 11-3. So uh, there should be no concern in my book. Yeah, eight point advantage. No, it's only a four point advantage. And then suddenly she's still feeling the panic. Yeah, nicely done. Well, we come back to it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And I've been trying to think of a, a fam famous finish to which that phrase applies and it was the great Lassie Veeran yeah, the, the runner 5,000 and 10,000 uh, 5,000 and 10,000 10, okay. uh, not the case but 10,000 metres yes yeah. in the Munich Olympics 72 in the 10,000 metres on the 12th lap he tripped and fell yeah. got up still won the gold medal and won it in a world record time yeah it's amazing perfect one of the great 
flying fins. Yes. Here we, we go. Challenge. Oh, he caught the line. That was important, wasn't it? It was very, very important. 10 12, 13 9. Yeah, psychologically, what yes. a difference that is. That's huge. Yeah, only two points difference, but between the possibilities. And now she's on the move again. Mia Blickfeld. Oh, she was lucky. It was a good trick shot from Wadani. Unfortunately for her, that's going in the net, but had it been over, it would have been a clear winner. Blickfoot completely wrong-footed. Good rally. Yeah. You know, I think it might help this young lady on occasions to play two punch clears in a row. She plays one punch clear and then she hits a downward shot. Yes. Well done, me. Yeah, but that's why I, I said, you know, add on the pressure on the back line, which means, of course, you one is not enough. It's got to be mm. two, three, four. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Eight point advantage has been restored. stage of now and ever as far as Wadani is concerned she has to start really closing down this gap she needs a decent run of points here I think that challenge at 12-9, that was crucial. Yeah. And for Blickfield, it was just in. That was a good challenge. Mm. She's challenging again. This is her third challenge in the third game. She's been right on the first two occasions, Blickfeld. Yeah, not so, so sure she'll why win not that go one. Go for the third one. Go for the hat trick. Go on. It looks close. Mm. Can't really see it from up here, but no. it looks close. Here we go. Yeah, no. that one. The line judge got right. points away from levelling this group C tight at one match apiece oh that's a beauty that's a super shot yeah it's, it's far too little too late mm. She really had the opportunity yeah, no. at the midst of this third and final game. Oh, good defence. 
Couldn't do it a second time, that's a wonderful angle. In all honesty, I think I've been love six down in this deciding game for Wadani. After being faulted yeah. on her serve, I think psychologically that sort of... Uh, Threw her a, off a bit. Totally. Missed it. That was a golden opportunity for uh, Dani. But she misses, and that means it's match point opportunities for Denmark and Mia Blickfeld. Yeah. Convincing in the deciding game for the tall Dane, Mia Blickfeld. 21-11, 16-21, 21-14 in the deciding game. A match lasting 54 minutes. And as with her match, as there is confirmation of what I've just told you, as with her match against the Russian Federation team, went on walkabout in the second game. Lost focus, lost concentration. But this is the final point of the match. The first match point opportunity was well converted. Loose block from Wadani. And a simple put away for Blickfeld. And the victory hers in three games. So 21 14 in the deciding game. And that means that this group decider is tied at one match apiece. All three other matches within the tie will be contested. So next up will be men's singles, the Olympic bronze medalist against the World Championship silver medalist.
So welcome back to Vanta in Finland. Finland known as the land of a thousand lakes, although they've got about 188,000 lakes in Finland. It's one of the most beautiful 